In this lecture, we will discuss the longest increasing subsequence, which is a one-dimensional dynamic programming problem. We are saying that this is the one-dimensional dynamic programming problem because it is making use of uh, the memoization table that will be of uh, one dimension. Uh, the longest increasing sub uh, subsequence for finding the longest increasing subsequence, we must have an idea about first the longest increasing sequence. So suppose we have been given some numbers 3, 4, minus 1, 0, 6, 2 and 3. So the longest uh, uh, sequence of the numbers which are in the increasing sequence would be either 3, 4 or it may be minus 1, 0 and 6 or it may be 0 or 6 or it may be 2, 3. So you can see that out of every sequence that we have discussed, either it is 3, 4 or it is minus 1, 0, 6 or it is 2, 3. The longest uh, increasing sequence is this one, which has a length 3. Subsequence means we can skip some of the numbers in between. And then even then after uh, skipping the number, if we have a larger number, so that will be taken in the sequence. For example, 3, 4, 6 is one other subsequence. Then 4, 6 is the increasing sequence, subsequence. Then minus 1, 0, 6 is a subsequence. Then minus 1, 0, 2, 3. This is also a subsequence. Okay. And then 2 and 3, this is also a subsequence. So out of all these subsequences, this has the length 4. So we have to find out what is the longest increasing subsequence and what is its length. So in this problem, uh, we'll be making use of uh, the dynamic programming approach. And uh, for using the dynamic programming approach, we, we have earlier discussed about the solutions which, uh, which was using uh, the approach in which we, we were using the recursion in which we were solving the problem in bottom-up manner. So th the same problem can be uh, actually solved with the top-down approach uh, using the iteration and not the recursion. Although the recursive solution can also be written for the same problem. So we are going to solve this problem in the top-down approach with the usage of the iteration. Now suppose we are taking a memoization table and uh, in this memoization table on the upper side we are writing the number so 3 4 minus 1 0 6 2 and 3 okay so these are the numbers and if we say that if this is the array the indexes of the array would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay now uh, it, if, if this array is A, let's say, okay, and uh, the elements 3, 4, minus 1, 0, 6, 2, 3, these are stored in some B array, for example. Let's say this is the B array, and this is the memoization table. The length of the, uh, the length of the uh, increasing subsequence for an element or the for a part of the array which is having only one element will be one so if you if you have only three the length of the increasing subsequence will be one similarly if we have four the length of the increasing subsequence will be one if i have only minus one so the length of the increasing subsequence will be one similarly for every element if you are considering that we have only one element the length of the longest increasing subsequence will be 1. Now in the next step, we are increasing the length of the array. For example, if we, earlier we have taken only one element. Now we are expanding it to take two elements now. So now if we take the two elements and then again recheck what is the length of the increasing subsequence. For that, I am again rewriting the same array. And we are taking here a j and here an i. Okay, so the earlier values of this the this array were one, 
and if you're going to check the elements this this element means age bj element and bi element b are b is the array in which the numbers are stored so if you're going to check this bj and bi so the our target value is if bj is less than bi it means we have found that the next element is larger and the previous element is smaller so this is actually b, this will be included in the increasing subsequence it means we now have found the larger subsequence if bj is less than bi now if bj is less than bi so the elements up to i elements up to i which earlier had a length of subsequence as 1 can now be treated as the subsequence 2 okay so now earlier the subsequence had a length 1 now subsequence has length 2 so what we are actually what we actually have uh, checked if the bj element is less than bi then we are going to increase the length of the subsequence okay so we will write uh, uh, the steps further in the form of the algorithm but now we are trying to understand this with the help of a solution now once you have uh, checked the two length part now we will expand it to three length part okay so the elements are 3 4 -1 0 6 2 3 and, and the indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so now 1 1 1 1 and 1 here we have j and here we have i now you will check the element aj with ai if aj element it means 3 is smaller sorry bj element so if 3 is smaller than minus 1 then you will increase the length uh, increase the length of the subsequence but here this condition is false so if this condition is false you are going to increase this j and you will check the numbers in between j and i okay so if 4 is less than minus 1 we will, we would have increased the length of the subsequence but this is not the case here and then for if you further increase this j this will be equal to i so that does not have any meaning because uh, the single length array we have already seen now let's take uh, in the next step we now taking the length 4 so 3 4 minus 1 0 6 2 3 are the numbers indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the length is this one so all these values have been copied so here we will take j and here we will take i now what you see here that 3 is not less than 0 so this value will remain same and then you will increase this j now again compare bj with bi means 4 with 0 so 4 is not less than 0 so this value will remain same now you have incremented this j so if minus 1 is less than 0 yet yes the condition is true in that case we are finding a two length we are actually finding a two length uh, subsequence so aj plus 1 will be set as the value of this one okay so 1 plus 1 2 so instead of 1 we will be writing 2 so what we have done we have incremented the value of aj and then we have stored the value at now suppose by so, uh, when we are solving this problem the aj here was 1 and ai value was 1 so what you have stored at the place of ai is equals to aj plus 1 if aj is 1 we would have stored 2 okay now let's 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 increase it further numbers are 3 4 minus 1 0 6 2 3 index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here we take 0 we are reinitializing this 0 and i will now be here so what values we have already observed 1 2 1 2 1 1 1
now see this 3 is less than 6 aj is less bj is less than bi so this value will be set as this 1 plus 1 so this will be set as 2 okay bj plus 1 now you are going to increase this j now you're going to check this this value with this one this 4 with this 6 so now you see that this is 4 and this is 6 okay 4 is less than 6 so in that case this value will be set as 2 plus 1 3 now this minus 1 with this 6 minus 1 is less than 6 so in that case also we should increase uh, so we should set this value as 1 means aj plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 but here the value is 3 so here we already have a larger value so a smaller value cannot be put here because we are going to find out the longest sequence not the smallest sequence so since we are finding the longest sequence in that case this value should remain 3 it means we are not only storing aj plus 1 but in fact we are storing maximum of aj plus 1 and ai if ai value is already larger you do not need to update that okay now you again increment this j so now 0 is less than 6 so once again 2 plus 1 and 3 we, we are going to store 2 plus 1 here 3 is already there so you do not need to change it further and if you further increase this j this will be equal to i that does not have any meaning now again taking a larger set then 3 4 minus 1 0 6 2 and 3 indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the values are 1 2 1 2 3 1 and 1 here we have j and here we have i again do the same thing 3 is compared with this 2 3 is not less than 2 so no updation then 4 is compared with this 2 no updation because 4 is not less than 2 then minus 1 is compared with this 2 so minus 1 is not less uh, minus 1 is less than 2 so what we can do aj plus 1 1 plus 1 2 value can be set here then you again increment this j 0 is less than 2 so 2 plus 1 3 value can be set here and then 6 is not less than 2 so we, we cannot update this value so now the updated array is updated array after this iteration is 1 2 1 2 3 3 and 1 so 3 4 minus 1 0 6 2 and 3 are the numbers we again in, uh, let the value j here and i will be here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 are the indexes so j is at 0 and i is at 6 now you are going to compare this 3 with 3 the condition is false no updation 4 with 3 4 is not less than 3 no updation then minus 1 with 3 yes minus 1 is less than 3 so this plus 1 2 will be set here okay now you're going to compare this 0 with this 3 0 is less than 3 so 2 plus 1 3 can be set here and again j is incremented by 1 6 is less than 3 no no operation and then j is here 2 is less than 3 yes so 3 plus 1 4 can be set here okay now if you increment j it will come at i so that does not have any meaning and finally we have got 4 value in this cell which is actually the length of the largest longest increasing subsequence okay so if you have to write the algorithm for the same what we will do now we are writing the algorithm for this uh, uh, longest increasing subsequence when we have a b array which has n elements and uh, from our side we are taking an a array of size n and every value of this array a 
will be initialized to 1 so for i equals to 1 to and do or you can take 0 to and do ai is equals to 1 so every value of uh, this array has been initialized to 1 after this you will take a j okay you will take a j at 0 index and then i at 1 index now I, uh, once i has taken at 1 index means the uh, smaller part of two elements in the next step you will take the part of the three elements then next step you will take the part of four elements and so on and so forth so that means let's say the i is getting ranged from 1 to n minus 1 so i will be first at one index then at two index and so on and so forth till the last last index so we are varying this i for every value of i j will be initialized to 0 and then we are going to compare the element b j with b i if b j element is less than b i then it is the term for the updation so how will you update the value of a i a i is the array which is containing the uh, longest increasing subsequence length it is the memoization table so this will be equals to maximum of either the ai itself or aj plus 1 okay now after this we need to increment this j just to check the next value so it means for every j value you are going to che check this and this can be checked by the time this j is less than or equal to i so this is the inner loop and this is the outer loop so while j is less than or equal to i you're going sorry j is less than i not equal to i once it becomes equal to i you will stop so while j is less than i you will do you will be doing this okay once the j has become equal to y you will stop this okay so by this you have found the length of the longest increasing subsequence the array that you have found in that array the largest value of the array will be the longest increasing subsequence Thank you.